To be successful in any form of racing, especially the Red Bull Air Race, you need to continue to develop the equipment all season long. So the airplane that arrives in Abu Dhabi is not the airplane that you see at the last race of the season. We had a big step in this 2015 season. We start with the version 2 H540 in Abu Dhabi, but we changed the plane to version 3 from Chiba. My previous plane, the Corvus Racer, was a very nice plane, but it has a different shape of the wing, which was not really perfect for the tight turns. So this plane has a different profile of the wing. I can, I can fly much tighter, which is uh, on the track is much faster. With the wingtips, uh, you know, all the engineers are telling us, hey, it's going to be faster, it's going to be great. Um, and I just hope they're right. Uh, but I really do feel like that I'm going to be able to, you know, make a sharper corner, and that's also going to save a little bit of time. For next season, everybody will surely have a set of winglets. We've been looking at winglet designs, very different designs. If you look on the grid right now, there's three or four different designs out there. So we will make an analysis on our own. So 2016 will show up with what we think is a great design. So we've added the winglets, and then um, after this race, it'll go to the manufacturer, and they're going to basically really chop it down. The cowling will be completely different. The, uh, canopy will be much more lower profile and then also the turtle deck and so we definitely think that's going to give us some speed because basically you're just cutting down the frontal area it's got to be faster maybe we will do some painting and fix the surface more clearly then maybe more uh, cooling system development and some small aerodynamic modification some people on the technical side helping us out. We've got the, you know, a couple of universities, KU, and then also uh, Microsoft's been kind of helping us out with that too. And uh, so we're stoked about that. We've got some big, big, big plans for in the off season, but it also makes a difference how you fly the airplane. The beginning is quite easy, but then you reach the point when you are fighting for the tens of seconds, hundreds of seconds, and then it's more and more difficult. Always at the end, like a like 100 meter running, several people can run the 100 meters, but below 10 seconds, at the last couple of 10 seconds, is the most hard. Perfect's never perfect, news already old. Gonna give me reason not to feel so cold. I got something special kept right on my sleeve.